What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up? How you doing today? What's up, you guys? Thank you so much for being here. Hello, hello. Hey, you guys, it's Skinny Boy Ren. How you doing today? Hope you're having a great, growing, blessed, and prosperous day. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Welcome to Garden with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are always welcome, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to my channel, click like and subscribe, y'all. Click that button down there. Yeah, it's a big square. Red thing says subscribe. And then click a thumbs up, thumbs down, just like two middle fingers, okay? Okay! Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you. You can be anywhere in the Garden Universe, but you choose to spend a little time with Skinny Boy Randy, and I greatly appreciate it. Also, if I can't answer this question here, slide on over to my Facebook group. And slide on back. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for being here. I just want to make a quick video. Oh, the Facebook group is Gardening with Skinny Boy Ready. We're beginners and experts. I welcome as well. Today, we're going to talk about potatoes. I promised a few people Kingston. Princeton is running around. He's the king. I call him Kingston, but his name is Princeton. And he's just running around the garden, you guys. Today, we're going to be talking about potatoes. How to start your potatoes. I know a lot of people say, start them on St. Patrick's Day, which is tomorrow. Zone 7, Richard, Virginia. But... You know how we do. We do what we want to do. We want to do. Just say, I got anybody tell us what to do. We will start them right in a day early. Okay, okay. Thank you, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. Ah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. Hi. Yes, you guys. Okay, we got a lot going on. I know y'all been like, where's Randy? Where's the wheel of seeds? Yes, all that is coming back, you guys. Taking one day at a time. Trying to do a whole lot. Y'all know I work at the hospital. Essential worker. We can't call. We, we got to go to work. Okay. Because the patients come first. I love you guys. I love my patients. I love everybody I work for. Shout out to all the essential workers. I love you. If nobody told you they love you today, I love you. Essential workers, all workers. I love you guys. We're in this together. Okay. Okay, you guys. We're going to get through this. So, first of all, I'm just going to get me a 18-gallon container. Now, I have the... um. Kingston is really, Princeton is really learning his way around. I Maybe I should have named him Kingston, but I had a dog named Kingston, so I didn't want to name him Kingston. But uh, back to the um, garden. You know how yeah, I beat him. Switch subjects. But I'm going to use a 18-gallon container tote. It's safe. Plastic safety is a number four. So check your plastic safety to make sure that your food is safe to grow in there, you guys. We don't do a whole bunch of fancy gardening. We just go ahead and do productive. So what I'm going to do is turn these over and drill some holes in the bottom. It, it, it rained out here today, you guys. So let me put it on the table and do it. I'm just going to drill some holes in the bottom. And I'm going to get you close. So you can see what I'm doing. We're going to make this short and sweet and quick. Y'all know. I'm learning all my tools and stuff too. Okay, I think I got it right. All right, we're just gonna make some holes in the bottom. Okay, just like that, see? Yes, you guys, you can get you a little drill. A little drill. My uh, picnic table is slippery. Have to slide some stuff over it, yeah. And I got gloves in my pocket, you guys. What do you know I love to put my hands in the gate? Mm -hmm. Put one in the middle. And I'm just making holes for drainage for our potatoes. Go over here in the corner. I'm not going to make any on the side. As you guys can see, go get you a nice drill, you guys. And, and this is not even expensive. Yeah, not expensive at all. But anyway, we're starting with our container. See, I just poke some holes in there with the drill. If you don't have a drill, make them the best way you can, you guys. So, Because we want drainage, okay? We want drainage for our potatoes. Now, let's just talk about the potatoes. The potatoes that you get at Walmart, Gold Rush, Yukon Gold, these are called determinant. Yes, you guys, there are two different types of tomatoes. They are determinant and indeterminant. To, uh, I said tomatoes. Potatoes. If I get those words mixed up in this video, forgive me, okay? Okay. Because they sound so much like potato, tomato, tomato. But anyway, we're talking about potatoes. Yes, the ones that you normally get at Walmart are determinant, which means they're going to root and sprout. And then all of their roots are going to make potatoes, and that's it. Okay? They're going to make them one time and stop. Like your determinate tomatoes. 
you know, you have determinate tomatoes that just produce one set of tomatoes, and that's a wrap. There are some beautiful plants, but that's a wrap. Now, the ones that you get from Walmart with the little eyes on them, yeah, you can buy these, or you can make your own potato, uh, your seed potatoes. Now, the reason they're called seed potatoes from Walmart is because they're supposed to be certified organic and pest-free. So what we're going to do, these are Gold Rush. Just open them on up, you guys. And I'm trying to show you one of the uh, eyes on them, okay? See, that's an eye. This one has a little fuzziness on it. So when you buy your potatoes and stuff out of the store, try to plant them immediately. See? These are the ones from Walmart, but I did my own. Okay, Walmart also has the red Norlin. These are also determinate, which means when you plant, if you plant the uh, potato right here, it's going to produce potatoes down here, and that's it. I mean, it only requires about four to six, in six inches. Go ahead and give it six inches, but four is quite enough. So if you're planting your Walmart potatoes, plant a lot of them. And this is the red bag. Let me just show you these. And see, these have gone to shit. See? But what your skinny boy Randy did was start his own. I started my own. Oh, oh yeah. Look how beautiful these are. Yeah, you guys, I started my own red potatoes, and these are the russet potatoes. Now, I'm going to read you the list and tell you the difference between the determinate and the non-determinate, the, uh, the indeterminate. The determinate ones, like I said, once you plant them four to six inches, there's our favorite plane. Hi! That's a helicopter. You guys know so once you plant your determinate tomatoes, determined means, I tell people, determined means I'm determined to make these and I'm going to stop. That's it. I'm, I'm not, I'm determined not to do nothing else. Okay. Okay. So when you're thinking about your tomatoes, when you say determinate, that means I'm determined to grow these and I ain't doing nothing. Don't ask me to do nothing else because I ain't got nothing to do nothing else. I'm determined. I'm determined. I'm determined to just produce these and that's enough. Indeterminate means. I'm indeterminate. You ain't gonna tell me what to do. I'm gonna keep growing, growing, growing. I'm indeterminate. I'm gonna just keep growing, growing, growing. And but our tomatoes and potatoes are the same way. Indeterminate uh, potatoes. You're gonna have to keep adding soil as they get bigger and bigger and bigger because they're gonna keep producing roots like tomatoes. Some indeterminate tomatoes. So yeah, that's enough of that. So what you do is for store bought. I just took my potatoes. I rinsed them off very well in the sink. You guys watch me do that, and I let them sit in a dry uh, shoebox on coffee filters for a few days and they sprouted so i have a lot of people asking me when to start a lot of people say they're going to start theirs tomorrow i'm doing mine a day these are the ones from the store from the store now ones like this big these are indeterminate because i believe they come from the grocery store these are the russets they come from the grocery store and the reason i believe they're indeterminate is because they sell them at the grocery store, so that means they need a whole lot of them to share with the world. So let me go, go ahead and read off the indeterminate and the uh, determinate potatoes, okay? So your, uh, your determinate tomatoes, which means they're going to grow a little bit, and, and all your potatoes are going to be at the bottom. Those are going to be your Caribbean, Norland, Russet, Nor Norcata. Red Norlin, uh, Rape Potatoes, Chief Dan, Yukon Gold, Sierra Rose, Sierra Gold, Gold Rush, uh, Ard uh, what is that? Adirondack Blue, Adirondack Red. Y'all you know, know, I ain't never went to that school, but yes, go and check out um, GardeningDream.com. They'll give you the whole list. Now, your indeterminate ones are your... Okay, you got indeterminate, the russet Burbank, the rust, uh, the Ranger russet, the uh, Alturas, the Century russet, russet nugget, German butterball, strawberry paw, Green Mountain, Canela russet, Benchy, Red uh, Pontiac, Maris Piper, Lay, German butterball, Red Maria and Beauty, Elba, Red Cloud, Cotter. Cotton, whatever that is, y'all, y'all know. I can't read it. Like I said, go to GardenDream.com and get the list of determinate and indeterminate tomatoes, uh, potatoes, and we're just gonna get started. So, okay, let's start from the beginning. You started your potato shoots. 
Now these are the ones that we started from our refrigerator garden and then we also have those from Walmart, okay? The ones from Walmart look like this. They've already uh, did some shooting and these are mine from home, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna plant mine from home. We're gonna plant the whole potato. But if you're just uh, trying to plant a whole bunch of potatoes, you wanna uh, look for your eyes, your chits and all that. And you want to cut this. You want to cut this. Let me get you down here in the action. You want to cut this potato. See? You want to cut this all that extra off. Like that. See? All that extra. Now you don't want to just bury this because this can get infected and full of fungus and all that good stuff. But you can cut this right down the middle like that. Yes. Okay, and just let it sit a couple of days. It doesn't take you long, you guys. If you're not making this video today, doing it while I'm doing it, just take the notes. Okay, you cut your, your potato from the grocery store, and you cut it off, and you're gonna put it back in a dry container. Now this one, one of these potatoes from the store, didn't really eye at all, but there's a little one. We're just gonna put it back in there and let it get a chance. This one here, it eyeballed. You see all the little uh, eyes and little chits? Just cut it like that. And there's one there. We don't have to waste that. We can just cut it because it's actually a potato plant. Each one is a tomato, a potato plant, you guys. Can you say tomato and it's potato? So just cut them in half like that with the eyes showing. And just put them back together, not touching, so they can uh, get hard. You don't want this piece to be touching another piece because it'll turn back into sugar. Yes, you guys, potatoes are sugar. Yes. Do a little research from school, remember? All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to plant my red potatoes. Now, I'm going to show you both ways. Well, I'm not going to show you how to plant these like that today because we're going to harden these and let them uh, get hard before we plant them. We're going to plant these whole directly in the ground. You can do that, too. You can do that with the other ones. But we're going to do that with the skinny boy Randy. But oh, look at this one. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, you guys, we're just going to plant that. Let me move my uh, cursor out of the way before I cut this video off by accident. All right, you guys, let's just jump into it. And I, I did these the same way. Rinse them off very well, set them in a dry box, and they all live together. So what I'm going to do is make up the soil. Yeah, you guys, I didn't even promise this was going to be a short video, right? So I'm just going to make up the soil with you guys today and I just have a piece of my black plastic you know I, I keep some black plastic y'all make sure y'all can see me right here okay all right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start off with a bag of potting mix just a regular potting mix miracle Grow, whatever you got potting mix you need your potting mix I did a video yesterday on potting mix and gardening soil and potting soil and potting mix Potting mix has all this vermiculite and all that good stuff in it that I'm telling you about. The little white pebbles. Vermiculite, perlite, yeah. They put all that into the mix. Not the soil, the potting mix. Now, you'll get all that in the potting mix. Then I'm going to take some black cow. One bag, uh, bag of black cow. I'm going to mix a little bit of that right on top of there. Okay. Am I capturing this, you guys? Let me get you down here in the action. All right. Yeah. Gonna put all this down in here. That's the black cow and the potting mix. And this is gonna be the basis of everything that we plant this year, you guys. Yeah, this is my first time doing the black cow and all that good stuff. But we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot for 2021. Hey, we had a, we had a, a, a we had a 2020, so we're going to do this in 2021. So that's Black Cow, and that's uh, Miracle Go Potting Mix. And now I'm just going to take some Perlite and mix in with that.
saw you guys had to get my scissors. Now, when it comes to your perlite bag, let me move the camera up. I'm sorry. You guys, this is not going to be a pretty video. I'm just doing this. It's a gloomy, rainy day, but I wanted to make this video. All right, so I'm just going to cut the top. All right across the top, okay? Because I don't want to use the whole bag. So I'm going to cut the top across. Get about half of this bag out of here. Okay? About the same amount as one of the bags of the cow manure and the potting mix. And that way, you can still move your perlite bag without having it totally open. And I was supposed to have gloves on you guys because it's really cold. Let me put the gloves on before I start digging into this. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you. So yeah, you guys, all I'm using is perlite, cow manure, and potting mix. Whichever type you have. And then we're just going to mix all this together. Let me get you down here with me. I'm just gonna mix all this together, y'all. The perlite, the cow manure, and the potting mix. One bag each, equal parts. And it's not heavy right now at all whatsoever. And try to break up as many of the clumps as you can so your potatoes can grow nice and healthy. Okay, you guys? And that way you have your compost, which is a cow manure, you have your potting mix with the fertilizer and everything in it. And then you have your perlite for moisture. So this is a great potting mix for all of your containers. And then you can add whatever you need to add in it. You know, as far as nitrogen, phosphorus, whatever you need more of. But this is a great starting base. Okay? So what we're going to do, take our container that we started for our potatoes. And we're going to fill it up about six inches. Now make sure you put this where you're going to have it sitting until you harvest your potatoes. Okay? Now, six inches. I'm trying to get it so I can show it to you. Six inches for my hand comes all the way up to here. All the way up a little bit past my wrist. Six inches. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, about right here. My whole handful is six inches. So that's what you want it. On these buckets, normally about halfway is six inches. Go ahead and give it six inches. Give your potatoes six inches, you guys. Okay? And I'm hoping I'm getting all this for you. Give them six inches. Whether they're determinate or indeterminate. Okay? So let me get back up here. On the table. Here we go. Can we get it up there? There we go. Okay, so we have our container. You guys, for those of you who have a container, I would say not even all the way, you know, half full. When you're starting off, don't fill it all the way up. No, no, no. You just want it half, not even half. Like I said, six inches. Six inches from the bottom of this container to about right there. Right there. All right. So you got your soil together. Now what you want to do is get your potato starts. And like I said, with these, we're not going to cut them. We're going to plant them whole. And you can see the bottom of a potato because it looks like a little navel type thingy. 
where it was attached to the mother root. And then you see all the shoots. So what you want to do is try to plant it with all the flowers sticking straight up. Okay? So all you're going to do is just sit it down in there, y'all. It's not rocket science. Sit it down in there. Like that. Get the other ones. The springy side up. The flower side up. I mean, <laughs> I said springy. And just divide them up amongst your container. I have five. So I'm going to do four and one in the middle. And the one with the most sprouts, I'm going to put in the middle. Just like that. Okay? They're six inches off the soil. That one wanted to take a roll, but it's okay. Six inches off the soil. Like that. And then you're just going to cover them again with six inches more. And you can take your hand and do that. Like I said, place these where you're going to have them. I haven't watered these yet because I know how heavy it will be once you water it. So I'm just doing this for video's sake, you guys. I'm not even going to water it because I know how much I can lift and carry the skinny boy notes. Because I ain't got no money to be going out with y'all be calling 9 one YouTube. See, I got it all covered. We're going to keep going. You know, enough to cover them all the way up. All the way up. Because mine are indeterminate, so as they grow six inches, I'm going to add more soil to it. And I'll show you that as I do it. But they'll grow out of this. You're going to see them grow out of this. And then I'll show you how we keep adding on and adding on now your determinant ones like the ones from Walmart uh, most of the ones from Walmart they will stay at the bottom they're not gonna grow any potatoes past here they're gonna start wherever you put that potato every all the roots are gonna grow potatoes at the bottom from where if you start the potato here the, the potatoes if you start your potato seed here and your seed potato here the roots that come out are gonna just form at the bottom and stop they're they're determinant indeterminate will keep growing up and keep growing up and every time it grows up about five to six inches add more soil because roots come out like they do on the tomato plant and they'll make more tubers which are more tomatoes I mean potatoes <laughs> y'all this is a crazy video okay but yes you guys that's what you want to do when you just started your potatoes you got them up and we have some soft soil these potatoes should do very well and what I want to do just give it a good tapping and and this container is filled up to about right here which is going to give room for them to grow okay I'm just give it a little packing down it's going to give them room to grow up out of here and then as they grow up I'll add more soil around them and I'll keep you guys informed of that but that's how you do your potatoes you guys I hope you learned a little bit I love you guys thank you so much for being here you're the best I'm going to be making a lot of videos today because I have so much to tell you guys there's so much going on I love you you're the best remember live love laugh you guys grow stuff and eat it let me find the button I can't find the button y'all but there it goes somewhere over here <laughs> thank you guys yeah got gloves on see that's why I like to use my finger.